This is the navigation tree template at SharePoint-Boards.com. This template allows you to take a SharePoint list with key fields in it and create a navigation tree in a hierarchy for use in a very um, comprehensive navigation that you could have in the main body of the page. Of course, SharePoint provides navigation options, but you're very locked in in terms of your options about how that would appear. This template allows you to fully customize a navigation which you can display in the body of a page using the list view web part. So in order to use this template, you do need to set up a list which will be used for the purpose of navigation and it needs to have these key fields in it. You should look first at the notes section at the bottom of this template which describes the fields that need to be set up. The first field you should create is a hyperlink column which you should name link and this will of course hold the hyperlink for each of those navigation links. The next one is going to be a number column which should be called index and that would be a whole number. Um, here's my index column and that controls sorting of your navigation. So as you want to reorder your navigation items, that's how you're gonna do it by updating that value. The next is the level, and that controls um, the level in the hierarchy of the navigation. So you have your main listings and then sub uh, listings under that, and then you have the ability to go to a third level. This is a three level hierarchical navigation system. Okay, so levels the next one. Uh, then you have yes no fields. You have three of those. One indicates whether the link should open in a new window or in the same window. Uh, another controls whether or not um, a little note would appear next to the column to indicate something uh, that it's new information. So you may want to call attention to certain links when they're added and this lets, gives you the ability to do that by setting that to true. And then finally we have one last option which is for heading. And if you select heading it means that it will not um, use a hyperlink. It's just used for as a, a label that the user won't go anywhere when they click on that. So that's the heading option. Now there are lots of configuration options available for you to control the appearance of this navigation. You can control the foreground and background color distinctly for all of the three levels of the navigation. And then you can um, control the icons which appear. Um, you see there's little uh, triangle arrow shaped icons that appear in this navigation. So um, lots and lots of things you can do here. You can control the indent as far as how far in it appears at each level and then the overall width. Um, just about everything you can imagine is configurable about this navigation. That may be a bit overwhelming to you at first. I would recommend by beginning with the theme presets and apply those to see what those look like and then you can uh, make further adjustments as you wish. So I do have my list set up and this is a list of links. I've made some dummy links here. Um, there's my hyperlink column and you can see I have different values for the level of indent and then the index sorts my links uh, overall in different options set. So now that my list is ready to go, I can go ahead and copy this template and just follow the directions in the pop-up window, then click OK. This is a view template, so go to your view selector and then select Format Current View, then click on Advanced Mode, and you will just go ahead and select All and Paste, then Save and it takes all of that information and it compiles it into this nicely organized uh, navigation as you see with a navigation tree style setup. Now what you will want to do is use the list view web part so that you can show this navigation on another page. In fact you can 
set up multiple web parts. So it could be that you want to show, you know, three consecutive columns of these. So you could build a very comprehensive navigation tree with many, many links and have an appearance that's set in terms of the colors and styles um, according to what you want for your organization. Now, if you want to look at what some of the other themes look like, you can simply go to the theme selector and choose another option. So um, here's another one. I'll just copy this and I can just swap it in and check that appearance until I'm happy with how things look. And as I mentioned, you can control the indent as well. So we have indent one, two, and three. So maybe I really want to indent those more. Let's try changing those values just to see what it looks like. Whoops, 70, let's try that, 130. Now the preview window up in the top is really helping me visualize things. So um, I really know what I'm gonna get even before I apply the template. And then maybe I want to just individually adjust the background colors. Um, so I could do that just by um, you know, going to these options in here. Maybe I want a black border around the entire navigation. Maybe I want to do something a little more subtle uh, for the background for this um, like for this third level right here. So I can adjust all those settings and go back and forth until I get it just precisely the way that I want. So I just paste in the code and then there it is. I've got my updated navigation and I'm all set. So once again, you could use this in a list view web part so you could show it in a landing page, in a main page in your SharePoint site. And this would be a great way to organize links in a system where you have many, many web pages or links of key information that you need to display all in one area. And you can do that in a lot more controlled configuration than just using the out of the box SharePoint options. So once again, this is the navigation tree template. It's available at SharePoint-Boards.com. This is one of currently three or four, I believe, different navigation templates that are available in this site. If you do not already have it, you can sign up for a free SharePoint-Boards.com login, which gives access to 20 free templates. And then beyond that, there are an additional 100 plus professional templates available to you uh, to do all kinds of different formatting of your SharePoint lists and information. Hope you found that useful and I hope you're able to soon use this navigation tree template to do very polished professional looking navigation in your SharePoint site. Good luck.